back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Rebellion. I'm not allowed up there. Revelio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Rebellion.
Lumos. Defending Hogsmeade against. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Rebellion. Your question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. Ah -ha! Let there be no misgivings here. I always knew you were a troublemaker, but a thief. A thief who would steal from their own father, no less. Rebellion. Lumos. Not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. Lumos. Still dealing with that nasty goblin. Can't have been good for business. I could just have a butter beer for a friend. Lumos. Sleep in transfiguration once. Professor Weasley woke me up, but I had handy resource indeed, your field guide.
going to have my own telescope. What are you up to now? Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. I spent hours trying to conjure a meat pie when I was a first year. Oi! Can you help me? Love you so. Lumos. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over the Rebellion. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. 
I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio. student were to help me with my... Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let me know, sir. Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. 
I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio! Off on another adventure, are we? Accio!
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I invented blue power. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio!
Rebellion. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. Rebellion. Ah, 
That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. What are you up to now? I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Rebellion. Rebellion. I've always said that travels from
I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. I should come back to this another time. Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we? I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. You can't imagine how inconvenient... Revelio. Look at your hair. Your complex. Whatever it is, they'll all want you. What a lovely secret to have you. Revelio. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Wands all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Come on. Lumos. 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 
Protego, Lumo, let me open. Accio. There goes my wager. Accio. I didn't bet on you that round. Catch, go again. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Accio! Let me also. What am I to do up here? Are you quite finished? Don't shy away now. Lumos. Protego! Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Is that all you've got? Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Give it another go. Glad to hear it. Protego. Accio. Let me know. Accio. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. Revelio, come on. Protego. Let me open. Find the one. Lumos. Let me open. Stupid one. Let me open. Accio. That's all you've got. Repair on. Protego. Stupid fight. Let 
I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Leviosa. Accio. Lumos. Let me know. Something. You'll get it. Akio. The peril. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Perhaps I should stick to potions. a bit easier on me. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. What do you want? I cannot do this for all I trust Mr. Brattleby was... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. 